A group of bell ringers is appealing for fellow campanologists to come forward to help break a world record. The attempt will take place over 24 hours, starting tomorrow evening. But don't go looking for the right church tower. It's in a Northumberland shed. And although at least 50 people have already volunteered, there's still a lack of participants for the night shift. <laughs> It might seem rather unusual to find a set of bells in an outbuilding, but it's probably a good thing that the record attempt is taking place in the middle of the countryside, near Cap Heaton in Northumberland. Over the 24 hours, the bells will be ringing out 400,000 notes. The idea is to complete 33 sequences known in the bell ringing world as quarter peals. I think tiredness will play a great part in this. I don't think any of the ringers here have rung through throughout the night and I think the early hours of the morning will be a great testing time. These bells are smaller than those found in churches, which means they can be rung more quickly. Even so, the attempt will pose quite a challenge, though some of the volunteers have previous experience of breaking bell ringing records. It's an opportunity to um, do another record and to um, just have some fun, really. It's a matter of concentration, really, that's the, the main thing. And on these particular bells, it's a different technique to ringing big church bells. I think keep up the concentration, um, keep up the energy levels, have lots to drink, lots to eat, um, and have a good time. I think that's really important. But the record can't be won on cups of tea alone. The bell ringers could do with another 30 volunteers to help them through the night shift. Well, bell ringing is teamwork. You need, each person needs the person next to them to be in the right place. And we need as many bell ringers in this place as we can get to get the world record. A barbecue will be offering sustenance throughout the attempt. And another form of refreshment is waiting in the wings, ready to be opened on Saturday evening. Helen Ford, North East Delight, Northumberland. And that's it from me for now. The main news is coming your way at six. I'll be back later in the programme with more stories. Now, though, it's back to Mike.